Well, an emergency meeting this evening for the Wyandskill School District Board of Education as the calls to remove its superintendent intensify. Back in June, parents and teachers began criticizing Dr. Lisa Hankel, calling her a bully and saying she failed to implement programs for special education students. The teachers union approved a no confidence resolution against her shortly after the complaints started coming in. And then earlier this month, more than 300 parents all signed a petition calling for a full investigation into claims that she bullies her staff. That now brings us to tonight's emergency meeting where the board announced it's hired two outside consultants to independently review the concerns of parents. Our Brandon Lewis was at that meeting tonight and he now joins us live from our newsroom. Brandon, how do the parents feel about this now? Well, uh, Dory, they're pleased along with the teachers. They say it shows the board is taking their concerns seriously. Tonight we talked with Superintendent Hinkle, who also is looking forward to people with outside eyes coming in to review those concerns. Even though there was just 24-hour notice of this meeting, parents still packed in to hear about plans to hire outside consultants to investigate complaints. 28 of Wynettskill's 29 teachers voted no confidence in Superintendent Lisa Hinkle last month, many accusing her of being a bully. Union Rep Matt Luntz gave the board a 63-page document containing teacher concerns. It's all about the students' education. They're the ones that are being affected right now, and I just want to know in September the board has taken our... Um, our allegations and, and thought about it and, and now has a solution put in place for September. Since the no confidence vote, the board and union have talked about issues and worked to minimize impact in the classroom if the consultant doesn't finish by September. The board has confidence that we will be able to work together to open school and have it be a positive experience for the kids. Superintendent Lisa Hinkle did not address parents but says she's looking forward to an outside review of her practices and district policies. I'm deeply saddened and disappointed, um, but I welcome the work that the consultants will bring and um, I look forward to the, the results. I don't want to take the focus off the good that the district uh, obviously has going. Um, we've worked hard all year to implement the new standards that the state has. And it'll cost about $12,000 for the two consultants. One will look at human resources, the other at special education. This money comes from unreserved funds, so there's no impact in the classroom. These results should be finished by mid-September or October. Live in the newsroom, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.